welcome back to this week's YouTube video. We are in the garden. We are digging in December because all right, our mess I did. A couple of weeks ago, I was saying in a vlog how I wanted to get a head start on spring and tackle some bits in the garden, a bit of hard landscaping. And I was going to rope my brothers in and I managed to get them on board and that is what we did this weekend. This is still going to be a work in progress but I feel like we did a good bit of progress the weekend. So in this video we put down two stone areas, dug up a flower bed, rented some tools. It's very muddy now. I ain't finished but I made a start. So if you're just here for the garden, no problem. You can skip ahead. I'll put a timestamp here because I have some book news and that's what I'm gonna share now with you. So first of all, thank you for the love on the video that I popped up on Sunday where I was saying about like the book cover reveal and a lot of you guys were like, girl, I've seen it on Barnes and Noble. And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god like that's huge um so it is available for pre-order as of like now um but in ireland i have just popped up a, a reel over on my instagram um because easton's are going to be doing a go giveaway for like a cute little tea set and i'll have all the details of how to pre-order in the description so in the us canada and the rest of the world i think the likes of australia new zealand i will get more information you guys it's not released until july but it's released sooner in ireland and uk um i think that's something to do with logistics or shipping i actually don't know but i know it's something kind of to do with that like overseas and stuff however if you want to get the book in may you can order from the likes of Eason's in Ireland and they will ship it international. Also, O'Brien, my publisher, you can also order directly from them. So if you do want to get it sooner, you can. And I was chatting to the guys and they're like, it will be everywhere. It will be easy to get. Like we don't want to make it hard for people to get a book, um, which is exciting. So I'm sorry you guys have to wait long. I hope it's going to be worth the wait. Like May, it's going to fly in. Just think of it like the garden. My garden will be in blue and hopefully my book will too. <laughs> but I did make a cute little, cause I have talked about like the book on YouTube, but I haven't really talked much about it on Instagram. Um, just because Instagram is quite a fast paced environment. People kind of flick and tap and stuff. Um, so I've been kind of chatting to you guys on YouTube more about it. So I just popped up um, some stories, just explaining like the book process and links and things like that. How weird. Is that here was me hiding the cover in last week's video trying not to show it and it was already on Barnes and Noble <laughs> but anyway if you want more info I'm gonna pop it all into the description and also there was a couple of people which I was blown away who were like oh I have a small bookshop I would love to stock it and if you would like to do that if you want a couple of copies I'm gonna pop in an email as well uh, Elena, who looks after sales, um, she is your girl for that. So if you do have a cute little bookshop somewhere and you want to stock it, pop her an email. And then I'm like thinking, I could visit these cute little bookshops, you know? I could, I can't wait. I don't know what the story is with book tour because of the, you know what? But I think they still happen, but just in smaller numbers. So I'm not too sure, um, but I would love to do one, love to do one, or to do something kind of intimate and meet people. But anyway, enough waffling. Here's the gardening. I hope you enjoy it. Good morning. It's Saturday the 11th. I love how like, I should be doing my Christmas shop and prepping the house for Christmas, but I'm like, pff, I have to prep the garden for spring. This is, although it's raining, I was looking at the Google weather. My, hey Blendy, oh, it's about to get very messy today. My brother's gone to collect my other brother, and then it's breakfast time, and then it is tool work in the garden. So I rented a turf cutter and a rotivator. So if we can do the jobs that I need those tools for, because I only have them for the weekend. So I have to give the tools back on Monday, which is, I love that you can rent tools, Blondie, which is, I, it just never crossed my mind until doing the garden project. I was like, I need something stronger, or my brothers do. And they're quite heavy and they're quite bulky. My brother was, he got like a safety demonstration and then he was like watching YouTube videos on how to use a ro little rotavator and a turf cutter, which is so funny. So it is raining, but the weather is milder. So this week during the week we had a storm and then we had some like frost and today is 13 degrees. So that's good. At least it's not too cold, but it's definitely not like... 
It's not good old warm spring weather. It's not beautiful. It's like a typical Irish grey day. But I'm hoping by being outside, we'll just have fun. We're gonna spend the day at it. Um, it gets dark at like four o'clock, so we have until the goal is to, I mean, obviously I can put a light on for them, but the goal is to get all the turf cutting, edging, layout done today. And then even if tomorrow we're wheelbarrowing in stones, that is, excuse me, that is fine. Um, I ordered two tonne of stone. I don't think I need two tonne of stone. Anyway, here's how the garden's looking now. Also, my pond arrived. I got a preformed pond, so it looks like an absolute bathtub. So even if I can get this in the ground laid out and just cover it for the time being, because that's another day's, another day's work to like fill it, put all the pond plants in. I didn't get any pond plants yet because I need to like research about it, and they're kind of hard to get this time of year as well. But my preformed pond has come. You don't need one of them, you can totally um, dig out like your pond, but I just thought this would be easier to do. And I think it's made from like a recycled plastic, which is great. Ha ha, the current situation. <laughs> so I can't go out too far because um, I don't want my camera to get wet, but this is the gravel stabilization grids, my rotivator, my turf cutter, my wheelie bins. Um, so basically all of this side of the garden is going to get like cleared out. Flower bed, this is going to be a seating area and then in front of the greenhouse and the shed is going to be some stones just because that is where the grass is getting like from me walking around the greenhouse and working around the greenhouse that is where the most turf is getting damaged so I was like if I put stone in front of the greenhouse in front of the shed my pond is going here and then this section here is going to be a seating area with some gravel so I got these gravel stabilization grids um to lay and then stick the gravel on top I also have some weed membrane as well so that is the rough plan so I'm hoping by Monday to having much nicer after picture um obviously it's december it's still not going to look amazing um but i'm hoping come like springtime once things start like growing it's gonna look beautiful and also it's an instant mood booster and i think because i look out onto my back garden in winter i'm like it just makes me happy for it to look i don't know just do my jobs in it and I feel really like, oh, I just know in spring I'm going to be like future me is going to be proud of past me for doing some digging in December. Whilst my brothers were on the way, I decided to just get a little head start and clear out my pots. This is kind of just the last of what was like in flower. Also, my bucket is snapdragons. I don't know if they like reseeded, but there's still some flowering and it's like into December. So I was quite happy with that. So as you can see, Blondie is giving me a hand. She has to see what I'm doing. So I just raked up some of the leaves that was in that corner. That's hopefully the last of the leaves because they're trees that are just behind it they are all bare so I'm hoping that is the last of it but otherwise I'll be raking leaves off my new stones <laughs> So when it comes to the garden, what we're basically doing is I rented a turf cutter and I took the layer, well I didn't, sorry my brothers did, we took the layer of turf off and we tried to get the base as level as we could. Um, it was quite messy because it was muddy. And then I put down some weed membrane and then I put down these gravel stabilization grids, they're like little hexagons because they're supposed to just make the gravel even all the way and you'll have less raking to kind of do. So we've done this in two sections, we've done it at the greenhouse because this area gets quite muddy and the grass isn't grown as much and I just wanted to tidy it up. 
and I'll have lots of pots come springtime here. And then we also did a small area of this at the door, uh, back door, which you'll see later in the video. For anybody in Ireland, I got the gravel stabilization grids from Goodwins. My stone is from B&Q. It was 143 euros for a ton and I got two bags. Share your knowledge with the people. Frog tape. <laughs> Don't need no markers, straight lines. I just wanted to lash them down, but perfectionist nah, nah, had to cut it. them. Okay, we have stopped for lunch and I just thought I would give you a little look around. So obviously my grass is totally trodden on, but nothing that grass seed in April can't fix. So the butt, like not bad for a morning's work. So the stone has got, oh, I need to move my wheelbarrow. But basically this area has all of its stone I've kept the wildlife section like separate and obviously that'd be nice and tidied up in like spring and stuff there's a couple of plants just starting to die off um but this is all nice and tidy um i moved these pots over just because the rest of my garden was upside down and i wanted to just or just have a little bit of order to the chaos so i've just popped these um pots here just for now got all wheelbarrows holding up strong and then yeah i'm loving how this has turned out again i just popped table and chairs these pots have tulips in them so they would be going there anyway um but i'll add a couple more spring buckets because my vision is once all of my flower beds start to bloom with spring flowers then i'll have some pots of like tulips and stuff here but i feel like we didn't do too bad for a morning's work. Now, this is absolutely, this is our walkway, so it's gone a bit, but I, we can fix this. I actually laid, I got some really good grass seed in October to patch up where the bar was, and it was really good. Um, so I'm just gonna lay a load of grass seed once we have finished all of the construction. Because I do like grass, um, it's just down at the back grass was starting to not grow because like the tree and I wanted to just it was getting all like whenever I was working in this area it was getting all like muddy like this um so I decided to do the stone there but it's starting I like this stone as well it's from B&Q and it's got that cottagey vibe so it's giving me like Cotswold stone or Cotswold cottagey kind of vibes but yeah I'm happy so far with what we've done but yeah it's hard work though so then we decided while we had the tools to start working on the flower bed and the pond it was starting to get really late and it was starting to rain as well so again it was just taken off the top layer with the turf cutter my soil I've mentioned it in previous videos it's 
very, it's full of rocks, it's full of bottles. It was just like, it's like they covered rubbish with soil and grew on top of it. So the pond is in and we're now working on this section. This is day two. Um, and my brother has really had to dig deep for the pond. I felt terrible, but I think we did pretty good for a weekend's work. And obviously the edging has to be tidied up. The flower bed has to be finished and I need to do like planting around the pond, but I am really happy with what we achieved in a weekend. If it's over to say it. It is Monday morning. The man has just come. Oh, I've, I've mopped the floors about five times and I'm putting on muddy boots on. Um, normally I'll do like a swishy reveal, but I feel like this is gonna be a work in progress, but we did a lot of progress the weekend. My runners are on. I'm gonna talk you through uh, what we did. How it's looking and what we need to do next but I feel like we've got a good chunk of layout done which is the hard part and yeah I just have to I don't even know what I'm doing next <laughs> I'm that jaded come on okay so for anybody who maybe is watching this video in the future this is December what date is it for 13th December 13th <laughs> and that is why the grass is looking absolutely wrecked from all of the things coming in and out but this is how we're looking so we're gonna start with the back also lots lots of stuff growing um so if you can just envision this being lovely grass come april may this will be beautiful so stones we did the stone area and have it all the way around to like the shed so stones down this seating area because you might remember me last year saying like things don't really grow down here um i think it's like the shade of the tree so i did the little kind of woodland corner and i put like shady plants in <clears throat> but the grass this was just getting <laughs> like this so i decided to do just a stone area so i can have pots in front of the greenhouse and it's less mud sludge so the stones they're starting to kind of dry out a little bit lighter. I kind of like the colour when they're like darker. A couple of leaves have fallen but not too bad. It's easy to kind of rake them off um, so that's fine. And then that's just the last of what's flowering. Not much left. Bit of verbena. El hydrangeas are on the way out. Olive is doing well. <laughs> so that is this section. And then I kind of separated here into the pond area. So obviously this has to be planted and this is not obviously fully finished. But my brothers, oh God, my poor brothers had to <laughs> dig deep for that pond. So I'm going to get obviously See, like plants and I'm not getting fish and um, just because there's lots of cats and I feed the birds but this will be a lovely kind of wild pond area I have some grasses I reckon I'm kind of thinking like lots of different heights of like grasses bug friendly kind of like plants to come in lower flowering plants in the front so that is possibly something I could do because the grasses, um, they're quite frost hardy, um, those kind of ones and the ones at different heights. So that could be something I could do in January. Um, I just need to research a bit more on the pond plants. So then this, so I've probably said it before, but I don't have great like soil. It's very clay based. So I got a ton of peat free soil, which I still have out the front. So the guys took the turf off the top. There's still a bit there and then they turned it over with the rotavator. But obviously we did have a nice straight edge, <laughs> but my brothers, <laughs> just went and ruined it but it's okay so we're going to neaten this edge and this is going to be a flower bed so from like the stones up to the pond this will be all flowering hopefully next year and this will be like it'll just lead into this is a really sunny spot 
so down there is a little bit shady so it's going to lead nicely into kind of the woodland corner still have a large grass area which is what I wanted because I love grass and there's actually loads of daisies which I'm not worried too much about my grass coming back but I am going to pop down lots and lots of grass seed <laughs> and then hopefully around about April time it should look way better. Also did a second seating area here just because this, let me walk back. This gets all of the sun in the evening when you want to kind of sit and I find here is naturally where I kind of go to like sit, read a book. It's like the perfect spot but again it's a really soggy kind of area um, and this will all be like tidied up. Um, I have these, I think they're like Ikea slat thingies that in springtime I can like put them here, power wash this and then I'm thinking a nice kind of seated area I might move the plant stand over and obviously my bins won't be there but this is another kind of project but at least the ground is set um, and we just have to tidy up the edging on that and that's kind of how we're looking as well as kind of doing like the layout and stuff I did manage to get rid of like any clutter and broken things that I had in the greenhouse or sorry in the garden and the last thing I have three bar stools <laughs> that I'm gonna throw up online um, and give them away I actually think my brother has a friend who might take them off me because obviously you remember I had the bar stool or the bar over there before I built the raised beds so that is my last thing to just free cycle and then it's going to be planting so that's the next thing will be planting and just neatening up everything but I feel relieved because we got most of it like done so I'm hoping next year these will all be flowering they're cut flower beds this will be flowering and I can put in a couple of features and it'll just kind of look just look nicer my main goal for the weekend was to just get the shape of the garden done and then I, because that's the hardest part is actually the digging, the lifting, the turning. And like I said, we're not pro landscapers by any means. And landscaping is expensive, so if you are going to do it yourself, just watch a load of YouTube videos, get some advice, pay, pay for someone to do it. Or if you are going to tackle jobs, just do your research. Um, that's what I did. So that's how I put down like the stone and stabilised it. That may not be the correct way to do it, but do your own research before you kind of tackle out like any job and see how it goes. But the stone, because you know when you put gravel down, my fear was that your foot would fall into it. Like it, you know when you walk on stone and you feel like it's really high and you're falling into it with those little hexagon grids, um, you don't have that. So they just stay at a nice level. And yeah, we just took the sod of turf off underneath, put down loads of membrane, made sure it was level, put the grids down, poured the stone, tried to get it level. But some corners probably aren't level. Don't come into my garden with spirit level now. <laughs> yeah, the only thing annoying me now is because the grass is mucky, but I was saying to the lads, whether we done this job in December or we done it in March, April, September, we still would have wrecked the grass with using the power tools. While it doesn't look appealing now, it's December and I can work on it and get it in good condition then. I'll have it back for spring, baby. She'll be back. So I think next on my list is, I was kind of looking at a couple of garden centers. It's kind of hard to get pond plants at the moment. I don't know if it's just the time of year. So I'm gonna have a little look and maybe just message a couple of places and be like, hey, have you got a pond plant? <laughs> um, and I'm gonna just, sit and read and do a bit of research the goal of my pond is wildlife it's I'm, i don't want fish and um, because i'd kill them like if a frog wants to visit my garden happy days um i also have to cover it over as well because i'm afraid of the hedgehog falling in but those preformed ponds have different levels um, but I do need to put kind of some blocks inside them and when it's planted up then it will be bug friendly um I was just watching Gardener's World and they were sharing like how good it is to have like a pond in your garden and then I also want to get like a little, nothing fancy but like a little water kind of feature, like a little solar powered one, it has it to me, nothing fancy but that is all for next year. Like I really need to get sorted for Christmas but here I am digging up the garden over the weekend, my brothers are probably like, 
also thank God for brothers, thank God bless me with two brothers because they do what we get from not a hope, not a hope, I would have done that myself so definitely jobs like that you need a bit of muscle so it is worth paying or asking for help. That is me for this week if you are tackling any little jobs while it's quiet in the garden. I'd love to hear if you have any projects, if you're doing a little pond, um, any tips for that. Greatly appreciate it and I'll chat to you in the comment section and I'll see you all in next week's video.